Hi Pisces and welcome to your tarot love messages here. We're going to take a look at and see what the cards here predict for you in terms of love and romance. It is going to be a general reading guys so please just keep that in mind. If you are after personal tarot reading with myself please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So we'll go ahead and give the cards a shuffle and we'll begin. Once again this reading here is intended for Pisces Ascendant. Sun, Moon, Venus rising and also for those cross-watching as well. Okay, so the Eight of Cups here to begin with. Hierophant, the Two of Swords. The Emperor. Wheel of Fortune and the Queen of Cups. So you've come up as the Queen of Cups here, Pisces, okay? And the Queen of Cups is someone who's very... She's very in touch with her emotions and her intuitions, which we all know. Um, you are here okay so what do I see for you here I feel like there's definitely some I feel like there's some things at play here okay I feel like uh, I'm seeing turn on a turn of events taking place for you I'm also seeing over the next couple of weeks I feel Pisces there's going to be some significant turning points there's going to be some you know some um, fated events here some even fated set of circumstances these will include i feel like these will include changes here within your energy and this could also include you hearing from different people for a lot of you Pisceans, i feel like like for instance i'm seeing that there are people whom you let go of um, people from the past here who are going to try and reconnect with you who are going to try and reach out um, and hopefully you know reconcile their differences with you here um, and hopefully, you know, uh, reach out for a second chance here. Whatever it is that happens, this is destiny and this is fate at play. And this is something that is meant for you. Something that is meant to be. Something that is woven and, you know, is an orchestration here of the universe's work here. So who, whomever does come back into your life here, understand that they do so for a reason. It may not necessarily be the most obvious reason. Like, for instance, just because someone comes back to you, it doesn't mean that they might want to reconcile things with you. It might for some of you, but maybe not for all of you. So for some of you, what I'm seeing is there may be some energies here whom you, you'll be reconnecting with. And the reason behind this is for some of you, this is going to give you closure, the closure that you finally need when it comes to a certain situation. For others of you, I feel like there's a forgiveness here that needs to happen. You need to learn to forgive yourself here, Pisces, and you need to learn to forgive other people who have hurt you. Now, this is why I feel like there hasn't been a lot that's been happening for you in terms of love um, and romance, or there hasn't been a lot of progression or forward momentum, okay? There hasn't been a lot happening because for some of you, I feel like your that particular area of your life is stagnated. You cannot move forward if you keep looking back to the past, okay? Or if you keep rereading the same chapter over and over again, you cannot move forward. Some of you are involved in a relationship or you're involved with certain energies um, and it feels like that particular connection that you're involved with is very cyclical, okay? Um, very cyclical. The person, and I feel even for some of you, what I'm picking up is even though you may be in a new relationship here, to me, it feels like you keep falling for the same type of person here. And somehow you just keep going back to the same behavioral patterns or you keep gravitating towards people who display similar behavioral patterns. So maybe that's the whole um, notion of cyclical behavior that I'm uh, getting for you, Pisces, here. With the Eight of Swords here, you will have an opportunity to, because it's like a thick set and a repair card, you will have an opportunity to right or wrong to forgive someone because this person is going to come back and reach out to you. Maybe you're the one that needs to do the reaching out first. Maybe you're the one that needs to swallow your pride here, Pisces, and just reach out 
um, and forgive this person. Maybe you don't have to necessarily reach out to forgive them, but Pisces, I feel like for a lot of you, you're holding on to something. You could be bearing a grudge or you're holding on to someone's energy who, and it feels like that particular energy has let go of you, has let hold of you a long time ago, but still you clutch onto this person's energy for hopes of reconciliation or for hopes that one day they will come back and walk in through those doors here. And for some of you, I'm also feeling maybe you're holding on to some sort of resentment or some sort of pain here. It's important to forgive them. You don't have to, forgiving doesn't necessarily mean accepting that what they did or what they said or how they treated you was okay. No, Pisces, that's not what it means. Forgiving means accepting that it has happened to you. It has happened. Accepting the fact that it has happened. Okay, so just because you forgive someone, it is not a weakness. It is an attribute of the strong. Okay, so please be mindful of that. And when you forgive someone, you're not accepting that, hey, you know, it's okay for you to treat me this way. It's okay for you to, you know, do, do or say that and to be res res disrespectful towards me. This is not what forgiveness is about. And I feel like a lot of people don't, really understand that, understand the nature of forgiveness. So you forgiving them means accepting that, hey, you know, this unfortunate set of events or these unfortunate circumstances have happened to you, but you need to let yourself go because you need to let, um, like let go of that person, let go of that energy or that um, resentment or hurt that you hold on to because it's doing you a disservice here. And it's, it's not, it's, it's not serving you in a positive way as well at all. It's weighing down your energy. It's keeping you stuck in areas of your life here. So for a lot of you, I feel like this week is all about working on yourself here. Okay, um, forgiving. Maybe you have to forgive yourself here. Maybe you've been a little bit unkind towards you here. Okay, maybe it's you the one that needs to be forgiven here. Okay, um, what else do I see exactly? You know, this blocked energy. Some of you admit it, like you have been stuck. And it's not your fault. It happens from time to time. People get stuck, but you can get unstuck there. Okay, And I feel like what might really help is working through some things. And also with the Eight of Pentacles, understand that there are two sides to a coin, two sides to a pentacle. Just as you have your side of the story, this person also has theirs. So be, be mindful here. Um, I did mention throughout the reading that I do see someone coming back to you. Now, I feel like this is someone whom currently you have no contact, no communication at all. Okay. And for some of you, you feel like this is it. This is the end. Things have ended or this person has ghosted you. The universe thinks like the universe thinks and feels very indifferent here. The universe thinks that this person is well, the universe knows and believes that this person is a part of your destiny. And therefore, what it is that the two of you have come and have, um, you know, have come together and are destined to do, that hasn't been fulfilled, which is why the universe wants to invite this person back into your life. Now, Pisces, when they do come back into your life, um, the tarot here is urging for you to consider their viewpoint, their, po their point of view. Because, again, I feel like maybe this person has something to say, or maybe this person here brings in a sense of closure. It could be an apology. Maybe they're seeking your forgiveness. For some of you, there could be a second chance, a second encounter with this individual. Obviously, your situations are going to be differently here. But I feel like the focal point is definitely uh, working on yourself and understanding that anything, especially around the next couple of weeks, anything that really unfolds is all part of your destiny. You know, you're on the right path here, even when sometimes you doubt yourself here, Pisces. Okay, you're definitely on the right track here. All right, and these are the messages that I have for you. So, as always, thank you for listening and watching. For those of you interested in a personal reading, feel free to reach out. Um, also, feel free to check out my other content on my channel here. Thanks again again. Thanks guys again for your support. Bye for now.